controversy on one of the Queen City's busiest roads. Good evening, everyone. I'm Stephanie Gorin. And I'm George Mallet. The North Avenue Corridor Pilot Project will reduce the four lane stretch of North Avenue down to two lanes, along with a turn lane. Uh, but not everybody's on board. WPTZ's Rachel Cars joins us live on North Avenue with that story new at 11. Stephen George, the pilot program was passed by city council last fall, and the city says we can expect these changes by next year. But with bikers saying that it'll make this road more safe, others are saying that it's going to cause backups. 41. Over the course of two and a half hours, residents concerned about lead foot drivers on North Avenue learned to shoot radar. 38. They're collecting data for use in the planning of the North Avenue Corridor Pilot Project. We're going to see, see what speeds are happening now before any change happens. Andrea Todd is on the North Avenue Task Force representing residents during the project. It aims to open up the avenue to bikers by reducing the four lane stretch to two with a turn lane in the middle. It's scary. It's, un, un, it's inconsistent surface. There's very little, um, there's inconsistent lining for the bike path. But not everyone's on board. Biker Karen Rowell says the changes will be bad news for new North Enders. You're going to give all these options to 1% of the population and you're going to back up traffic. You're going to back up the other 99%. Rowell posted signs and spoke to neighbors and says most don't want the change. She's collecting signatures on a petition to get the question, should the city keep four vehicular lanes on North Avenue on the ballot in March? The neighbors have to stand together and, and stand firm and speak up. With residents divided, Todd says the city can still do an about face. Really, it's paint on the road that's going to be changing the infrastructure and the path of, this, of the cars. It's not going to be a repaving. So. After a period of time, people will be able to feel and see what it's like, but there's not an expense of changing roads back and forth. Now, part of this project is that if the North Enders don't like it, the changes will be reversed. But some residents don't feel like their voices are being heard. So if you'd like to learn more, you can go to the task force meeting on November 10th. I'll have information on that meeting, as well as the petition on our website at WPTZ. Com. Live in Burlington tonight, Rachel Cars, WPTZ News Channel 5.